I, I agree though with hydrogen gas, it is a lot on the prevention. I mean, I think that's really where it's at. And we look at the studies, for example, we do, a lot of times we want to do pre-treatment. And we, when we do pre-treatment of, hyd of, of hydrogen therapy, um, we see some really good effects. So we do pre-treatment and then we give the, the cells or the animal or, or whatever a, a stress. And, and that was really good. So like, for example, in Parkinson's, Parkinson's disease, one of the, the, some of the first studies that came out in animals, they, they actually gave hydrogen water for, for so many weeks, and then they induced a, a stress, a chemical to damage the substantia nigra in the brain to cause Parkinson's disease. But those, those rats who were, that were drinking hydrogen-rich water, they, they, it, they completely prevented them from developing the Parkinson's disease wow. essentially. You know, so, and we look at other studies like, you know, there's some cool studies in cell culture also that, that have been done um, that are prevention. So you, you administer the hydrogen um, gas, you dissolve it into the cell media at, at uh, physiological concentrations, so around, you know, 20 micromolar or so, which is about what we get after we ingest hydrogen water. And, and we see that, that about, if we did that first and then we expose the cells to some, you know, common plastic, you know, pesticide or some, um, you know, whatever it is, that the hydrogen gas is able to actually maintain a normal homeostasis of, say, inflammation or redox balance or uh, the NAD plus to NADH ratio. You know, so many different things we're able to maintain at that homeostatic level by this pretreatment of hydrogen gas. Of course, we can't do this, do this so well in clinical studies like, hey, you know, th this person is going to, um, you know, uh, suffer from a heart attack, right, or whatever. So we do a pre-treatment, you know, hydrogen gas. This There's no yeah. way to really do that, but, but we can do that in animal studies and cell studies, and we see that this, this idea of prevention, um, hydrogen gas is very good. So I, I guess you can think about it like this. When you wake up in the morning, you don't know what's going to happen that day. You don't know what you're going to be exposed to. You don't know what accidents might happen. But maybe by simply taking um, molecular hydrogen, that's going to potentially mitigate damages that would happen you know, later on. 